like to welcome and thank everybody to the 9th Agritech Africa exhibition. KCB Group is very, very happy to explore partnerships with all stakeholders present. We would really like to see how do we help develop profitable and sustainable agricultural economies? And how do we do this in ways that directly improve the quality of life for Kenyans? Agriculture and its practices have also been known to be the biggest contributor to climate change. When we just open our land, when we just practice the way we want, put in pesticides and other chemicals on the environment, we do degrade them. And therefore, we need technologies that are going to help us to also produce on a climate smart aspect or perspective. That is why we need Agritech. And that is the reason why for me and for my organization, we want to keep working together with Agritech so that our farmers down here would be exposed to technologies that are also anywhere else in the world. It's my great pleasure to officially inaugurate this ninth of Agritech Africa International Exhibition and Conference 2024. And I want you to call upon all of us to effectively participate, interact, and engage and share appropriate knowledge and skills suitable for adoption and customization to better food production and achievement of 100% food and nutrition security in Kenya and Africa. We are aware that uh, some of the challenges which farmers face is about access to market. So through our KCB Foundation, we are also working towards supporting the cooperatives, the farmer producer organizations, whereby the farmers are members of those organizations to be able to access the market. We want to encourage our, our sons and our daughters to be also part of agriculture. So through our program we call Tujiajiri, which is uh, supported by KCB Foundation, we also encourage the youth to be in farming. So that program supports the, the youth by giving them skills to be in farming and to be in agriculture. So KCB Foundation has uh, benefited from Agritech in two ways. One, access to new beneficiaries and also in supporting uh, creating a pipeline of beneficiaries. Uh, the second way that uh, Agritech has supported us has been to support us in showcasing what we do to the communities so that the whole world can see how we are supporting agriculture, especially amongst the youthful segment of our population. Our commitment is about um, supporting dissemination of information and knowledge and intervention in the human, animal, plant, and environmental health. We often shorten these as the 4-H. So any material, any production that we have, uh, we tend to follow those uh, four thematic areas. This underscores the holistic nature in how uh, the holistic nature on how we view agriculture. And of course, we are joining many other uh, others, other entities that are responding in the area of um, negative effect uh, of climate change, water resources, the declining soil fertility, and of course, uh, productivity that's also going down. But as well as uh, a big concern at the moment that we are losing our biodiversity in a big way. And, and of course, the excessive use of harmful pesticides and other chemicals. So these are areas that we intend to intervene and we've been working very closely with farmers and other actors, like-minded organizations, so that uh, we can contribute to finding solutions. And therefore we view ourselves as change agents 
and we contribute towards more sustainable farming, promoting healthier diets for citizens. And of course, uh, as I've said, we promote agroecology and we feel and we know that uh, agroecology is a vehicle that uh, would actually help us address uh, these myriad of challenges, as many as they are. Our main focus in Agritech, because it is more of agriculture and technology, have uh, met across uh, so many farmers. Farmers across Meru, farmers in Laikipia, farmers in Narua, Rift Valley, here in Nairobi, the city farmers. We've had a good encounter with farmers. We have taught them. We have uh, uh, acknowledged that they want to use the products. And we also want and support them in doing good, healthy farming. So I want to talk to you about one of the, the challenges we face with aflatoxins. So aflatoxin pose a significant challenge and it makes us do a lot of costly testing processes to ensure that the food we put out there is safe. If we're reaching 38 million consumers, we must make sure that what we put on the tables are safe for our consumers. Despite awareness, we found that our consumers don't want to pay high prices for aflatoxin tested food. We're now looking at a more price sensitive demand. If the product is cheaper, we tend to pick up a cheaper product, not thinking about how unsafe that food might be. This has caused us problems for millers and farmers who are actually trying to comply and do the right thing. The, the more compliant millers are really struggling with high operational cost, testing costs, and therefore unable to put a product on the shelf that is cheaper. However, those unregulated mills, those ones who operate under the regulatory radar, they sell cheaper, potentially unsafe products, and they're shifting the market away from safer options. This maize that is contaminated finds its way back into our plates. There is therefore a need to look at methods to either dispose, to, to get rid of this contaminated maize, or to use this contaminated maize in a safe, way that, can, that doesn't affect the health of our citizens. The other thing that we've noticed with the milling industries is that there is declining productivity. We have high energy costs, such as electricity and fuel, that are escalating production costs, and they actually stop us from investing in productivity-enhancing technologies. Moreover, the taxes and the levies increase our operational costs and this affects the cost of packaging, it affects the cost of transport and other critical operations. We face a problem in getting our products from the farm to our tables efficiently. Agritech, uh, we have been participating here uh, regularly and uh, this gives us a good break into the African market and it also gives us a pulse of the farmer because the main visitors here are farmers. Mm -hmm. We get the pulse of the farmer at their needs, their requirements, so that we can customize our products to suit the end user. So this gives us a connect to the end user, the manufacturer to the end user. That is the main uh, advantage we see in agriculture. This event is a good opportunity for uh, presentation of our products, uh, our machine to customers, we glad to uh, participate to this event. Tea is the most drunk beverage after water in the world. And therefore, because of this, we have many people who have come in to be tea producers. Initially, we were about five or six, but now they're almost 20, 30, and the number is still growing, and especially so within Africa. The use of technology in improving farmers' income. One of the things that we have encouraged in the industry is adoption of emerging technologies in tea harvesting. But then we realize that in as much as we still want to encourage the youth into the tea industry, we also have to entice them. So what happens? We have encouraged adoption of technologies in tea harvesting. But now we are trying to adopt green energy by using hydroelectricity generation and using solar to, be, to see how well we can be able to, to conduct proper weathering for the teas. Also automation of factory processes 
uh, when it comes to payments of farmers, we do not have to do manual, manual, manual payments. It is automation. Thanks to the new technologies through M-Pesa, we are able to pay our, our farmers through a seamless process without any human intervention. Agritech is a very good medium to interact with farmers, with retailers and some distributors and uh, you guys are doing a very good job for newcomers in Kenya and this is a very good medium for all the manufacturer service provider as well as the farmers as well. So this is a trial, next time we come with uh, a bigger stall and uh, with uh, uh, other services as well. Mimi nimefurahia kwa kunja kwangu kufika hapa na nikashukuru sana kwa mwaliko ambaye tumealikwa hapa ili tujifunze na tuende tujisaidie na tusaidie watu wengine In Agritech we met a lot of farmers a lot of uh, B2B connections for our business which you know will help us set up in Kenya far better and we can have a good reach among the people My experience here is, it's a great experience because it's something that opens up your mind with broad ways from other countries and other people. It's a good place to learn more about the failures where we, we fail sometimes and where we keep on like, it's from the zero grazing, now you open your mind to an international perspective and other broad perspectives. Agritech has enabled us to have uh, outer reach, reach many farmers and many customers who are potential consumers of our products. And uh, also it has enhanced visibility. People are now know Kamko, who Kamko is and where we are, what we deal with. And uh, it's now easier for them to find us for the solutions. SGN. This is coming company from China. This is broiler cage. We will make the broiler cage automatic feeding system and automatic nipple drinking system. And this is automatic manure conveyor system. And we will we will sell the broiler cages, layer cages, and we will make the ventilation houses, control panel systems, automatic environment control houses. We will support to poultry industry. This is a good for uh, African peoples and uh, Kenya peoples. We manufacture a product called uh, Winkler. It is a refreshing product for irrigation industry. Uh, CVA came here uh, to explore the Kenya market because Kenya is a very big market for agriculture and irrigation products. And uh, it is an upcoming market for us. So this is a great opportunity which uh, Agritech platform we are providing to us as an Indian manufacturer. So for these farmers only, we have introduced a new product called uh, Win Kit. And it is, it is a very small kit having all the products which is required by any small farmer and in a just do-it-yourself concept and we'll provide every component whether it's pipe or fittings in the same box. Yeah. Sure, we'll come in Agritech next year and I hope we'll get a good business from Kenya and uh, we love Kenya farmers. We come. Okay, Pinkle Crane Machinery, we are the manufacturing company for crane machinery. That means uh, wheat milling machines and maize milling machinery. And we have seen a lot of uh, outcome so far. And you can say it has been, it is very beautiful and fantastic. We have seen so many customers wearing for the machinery. Many people have seen, they have come to understand about Pingo. Absolutely, the coming years will be participating. Mimi ni mkulima wa sunflower. Na sikuwa nimejua, hii sunflower ni kilima. Naweza fanya nayo nini? Nimekuwa tu nikijua ni kuvuna na kuuza. Lakini sikuwa najui inaweza nisaidie hata katika upande wa mafuta hata kwangu nyumbani. Sasa hivi leo nimesoma na nikaona kumbe kuna mashini hata za nyumbani naweza tumia hata jikoni. Nimelimika na nimefurahia sana. We are very happy to share that more than 182 exhibitors have participated in this event where we are talking about and we are showcasing entire agriculture value chain, dairy, livestock, poultry technology, as well as the green technology. 
and a uh, lot of interaction has been happened in last three days and a lot of exhibitors are happy and they are they are confirming to come here next year again.